Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to share with all of you about our topic under networking fundamentals which is world without wide area network or we call it WAN Okay, my name is Karenisha Mashita binti Amran metric number 1181595 and my friends are Wan Ratika binti Wan Zainuddin and Nur Ani Saleha binti Muhammad Azimi Okay, for introduction what is wide area network actually? Wide area network is a large network of information that is not tied to a single location. WANs are a form of telecommunication networks that can connect devices from multiple locations and extend over a large geographic area. WANs can facilitate communication, the sharing of information and much more between a devices from around the world through a one provider. Once can be vital for a international business, but they are also essentials for everyday use. Without one, information can only travel with the local area network. Okay, as you know, one is typically owned by an external company, like an internet provider, telephone company or cable carrier that then list their one to business, schools, government or public. This, all these customers can use the network to relay and store data or communicate with other users, no matter where is their location, as long as they have access to the established ones. For international organization, once allow them to carry out their essential daily use without delay and problem. Employees from anywhere can use a business one to share data, communicate with co-workers, or simple stay connected to the greater data resources center for that organization. Assalamualaikum, my name is Wan Nur Atikah binti Wan Zainuddin, matric number 1181593. Why we choose this issue? The reason why we choose this issue because of we want to know why a wide area network is so necessary. Imagine if one does not exist or we do not use one in our daily day, we will realize how important is it or not. Such an example, why uh, once this is really, uh, firstly, people in the regional or branch office of an organization need to be able to communicate and share resources with the central site. Secondly, organization often want to share information with other organizations across large distance. For example, software manufacturers routinely communicate product and promotion information to distributors that sell their product to end user. And the last one, employees who frequently travel on a company business need to access information that reside on their corporate network. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ansalah binti Mamazini, metric number 1181596. Now I will present about objective. The purpose of this research is primarily to develop a rich explanation of how the everyday experience without WANs in use are related to individual social capital. Uh, the objective that according to the discussion issues is what if white area network does not exist in our life. Uh, first, our objective is to know what will happen uh, to work if when does not exist. Is it will make a work better with when or not? Generally, we know if without when, information can only travel within the local area network LAN, such as in one office only. However, compared to when, a LAN connection is relatively inexpensive to set up and maintain. Okay, uh, secondly, we do research about this topic issue to find out why, uh, why when is important and why we need when in our daily life as internet users. Okay, and last but not least, to know the advantage of when to users of the word uh, communi uh, community in dealing with problems that they often face, such as not being able to communicate or uh, communicate uh, well internationally, especially to those who have business branch between countries. And uh, as we all know in general, WENs are uh, powerful business tools that 
make it possible for large organization to communicate internally faster and more efficiently. Okay, next, uh, finding issues. The absence of when has a harsh impact on the entire work community, especially uh, those who use the internet a lot in, uh, in all their work. Among the things that will happen is with the absence of when, the internet will be limited to one place only, uh, problems in doing research for students and uh, difficulties in making purchase online. Um, okay, first, without when, internet is limited to one place only. Uh, this will happen to all workers around in the world, uh, especially workers who deal a lot with foreign patches. For example, for office uh, workers, they can only send and receive uh, word files or documents within the designated area only. If there are those who have branches of bread, they will definitely face problems and difficulties in sending important documents due to this limited network problem. Okay, um, next, having difficulties in making research. As we have seen, nowadays the internet is uh, of interest uh, to students, especially for university students. Uh, university students uh, use the internet a lot in doing research not only in the country but all over the world. This study uh, used many uh, past studies uh, from around the world including the study of Islamic scholars as well as Western research. Okay, uh, last online purchase uh, issues. In this age of uh, sophistication, most of the world's community makes a lot of uh, online purchase only. This is because online shopping is easier and faster and you do not have to spend time to make a choice. Online purchase such as uh, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress shopping that is the world's largest online marketplace uh, are widely used because they are more attractive and quick in making payments uh, without having to bother or sweat to line up like in supermarkets or, or regular stores. Okay, that's all. As in discussion above, we know if a one connection did not exist, organization will be isolated, specifically a uh, geographic region. Compared to rely exclusive on local area network, install a one can do this thing. First one, for organization grow and become international, one allow them to communicate between overseas branches, share information, and stay connected. When employee travel for work, one allow them to access the information they need to do their job. One also help organization share information with customer as well as partner organization. One also allow them to carry out their essential daily function without delay. Employee from anywhere can use a business one to share data, communicate with co-worker or simply stay connected to the beta data resources center. However, one also provides an essential service to the public. Students at university might rely on one to access library database or university research. And every day, people rely on one to communicate, bank, shop, and more. To illustrate how one works, think about your local school district. Within a single school, all of the computer will be connected using a local area network. Allow them to share information and software that belong to that school specific. So, one provides some key technical advantage as well. In addition to provide support for a wide variety of applications and a large number of terminals. One allow company to expand their network to plug in connection over location and boost interconnectivity by using gateway. The suggestion or advices for these issues, why not we upgrade from traditional one to ST1 because ST1 is a unique approach to wide area networking and it is also a combination with traditional one technologies. Okay, what is the advantages of using ST1? First, ST1 can increase a performance in business. 
SD1 can automatically funnel your traffic through the fastest and most reliable connection. Common network issues such as Cheetah, which is the delay of receive packet, and latency are considerably reduced. With SD1 also, our endpoint are covered with H2H -H encryption. Second, with SD1, the operational is efficiency to educational institution. Educational institution can use SD1 to make the most of their bandwidth. Every student can take the advantage of online learning without having to wait their turn to connect. The third one is SD1 can simplify and securing written networking. SD1 applies software defined networking which is SDN to one connection. It comes into its own in its ability to easily and effectively connect dispersed office over multiple geographical location by using the best network rule available and enabling different types of traffic to be prioritized the quality of service is assured this ensures that a seamless user experience is maintained throughout the shopping journey so the conclusion is this study has aimed to explore how the live experience without the use of wide area network or better known as one to the world community today. The wide area network provide many benefits and will continue to change the organization, social, educational to be better and more better. One of the key findings is that every day, people, especially for those who are working that need to communicate with another branches, rely on one to share information and stay connected and more. Finally, those who are already aware of the necessary of wide area network, they will use the one as best they can to utilize them in every job they do. So this all from our group. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, there are a few questions that maybe you want to know the answer. So let's go to the question first. What is the difference between one and ST1? Okay, traditional ones mostly rely on dedicated MPLS connection to provide secure, direct connections for reliable and efficient network traffic flow. This allow you to prioritize the voice, video and data traffic on your network. Okay, what is ST1? ST1 provide organization with end-to-end -end view of the entire one and the ability to prioritize network traffic over different connections. SD1 measures traffic and select the best route for each data packet in real time. With SD1 organization can connect all of the office to a central network in the cloud, which can increase control and flexibility. Next question, uh, does the wide area network is uh, internet? The answer is yes. So basically, a one consists of two or more local area network. Computer connect to a one are often connect to public network, such as the telephone system. They can also be connected to this line or satellite. So the largest one in existence is the internet. Okay, next, uh, next question is that when faster than land. Uh, how fast data can be transferred over a land or when depends on the quality and data transfer capabilities of one's uh, hardware and cables. Uh, having all the computers in a line physically connected to a router or sometimes a, uh, a switch is the fastest way to transfer data between computers on a line. Uh, moreover, using modern cables, uh, care factory and better will uh, ensure the best data transfer speeds. Uh, when uh, speeds are affected by a number of factors, the equipment used in lens that are connected to WENS affect uh, a user's experience, as does the type of cabling uh, used in the wide area network itself. WENS are typically slower than lens due to the distance data must travel. Uh, for example, data transfers between two different states in the US are uh, first, uh, faster than data transfers between London and Los Angeles. Uh, high quality copper submarines cables are used to help speed up data transfers between nations. That's all. Thank you.